soon you and I, we're going to be back in Manhattan, and I am going to be making your life hell there. You get rid of Parker, I'd be listening. I understand you have some anger issues with me. 50 bucks, and I'll give you odds. I'm coaching the handle the steelheads, that's what I am. Why don't I just fire you anyway? Come on, guys, look sharp out there. When are you seeing the doctor? I'm not. <laughs> you are busted, Mark. They suspect the concussion. You don't get evaluated, you are in breach of contract. There is nothing wrong with me, Parker. This is game seven, you've got to let me play. Hey, not without a medical. You tell me you're clear, and then you play. Otherwise, forget it. I like a bunch of slag sloppers working the full moon without a foreman. They need Simpsy. Well, they probably won't be able to have him, Duff. As soon as I hear the word concussion, he sits down. Otherwise, his wife sues your ass. Who are we going to get the coach? It's too late to get anybody. Well, get Gorman back. He's drinking. Who the hell cares? The alternative is Parker. Cost us game six shooting his mouth off. It'd be better for us if he actually did shoot his mouth off. You can say that again. And that way, he'd stop talking altogether with his mouth off. I get it. So get Gorman back. He's all there is. What about a coach? You got any callbacks? No. no. Not even Languzzi? No, he's on dialysis. So I, I need the guy for one game. He's hooked up to a machine. Oh, he could bring the machine. <sighs> oh, God. <clears throat> I'm at Parker's office. Joe Harriman. Oh, the Joe Harriman who stole my agency, you mean? That Joe Harriman? Oh, sure, I'll take that one. Hey, you backstabbing little weasel. How's tricks? Ah, uh, you'd know, Parker. You stole the Dubois contract. Well, I wouldn't steal the Dubois contract, Mr. Weasel. You must have taken that with you. Yeah, it vanished from my briefcase. I know you have it. Look, why, why don't you grow up and play by the rules, Brett? There are no rules, Mr. Weasel. That is the rule, as you're shortly to find out. Bye. The Dubois contract is on your desk. Yeah, of course it is. So then? So Mr. Weasel stole my agency. I'm going to open up across the street from him, and I'm going to get all my clients back. Mickey Dubois is the leverage. If I can get him to come with me, then the others will follow. And you look worried because? Because Mr. Weasel might get to him first. I need to sit down with Mickey Dubois face to face. You know, if I could do that, then I could talk some sense into him. <laughs> all I need to do is find someone who can tell me where the hell he is. Hello out there, we're on the air, it's hockey night tonight. Tension grows, the whistle blows, and the puck goes down the ice. The goalie jumps and the players bump and the fans all go insane. Someone roars, Bobby scores at the good old hockey game. Oh, the good old hockey game is the best game you can name. And the best game you can name is the good old hockey game. Mr. Parker. I've never heard of him. Okay, Brett. You're getting colder. It's actually about M Mark Simpson. Great individual. Pleasure to know him. He has a concussion. Look, you don't know that. Well, actually, when he was hit, his helmet broke. That's right. And we, we got him a new one. Look, Thornton, from The Spectator. What? Hey, do you want to go for a, a coffee? Uh... Sure, 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 I, I guess, I mean, that would be good, that, that would be nice. Great, here's a buck, have two cups. All right, you know what I need you to do for me? Inspire you to be a better person? I need you to book me a flight to New York, tonight. Game seven is tonight. Yeah, I know that, after the game. Hey, if I have any shot at keeping Mickey Dubois, then I have to find him, right? So why New York? He plays for New York. Yeah, but they were eliminated. Hey, listen. Mickey Dubois has no life outside of hockey, okay? You mean like you? Look, just book that ticket for me. 
Okay? Please. Okay. So what are you gonna do? I don't know. I'm thinking of seeing Hangs. What? The guy who lost his license? He got it back. Yeah, but isn't he like incompetent or something? No, he's not incompetent, Todd. He's a good doctor. He's just a little unpopular with the suits. Friggin' suits. He's not afraid of lawyers like all those other guys who have careers to protect. He could give me a clean report. I mean, he's a doctor, right? Well, he's... He's kind of like a veterinarian. Yeah, well, that's when he was out of work. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. If he clears me to play, they'd have to let me, right? Yeah. Uh, Coach Lloyd is here. What? What? What for? He says Colleen rehired him. Oh, fine. Whatever. I'll just fire him again. Hey, did you get me my ticket? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, the media saw him come in, so what should I tell him? Wait a second. Colleen's got some kind of strategy here, doesn't she? You're not listening to me. Why would she want the coach to come back? I think I'm in love with you. What is in that for her? And I don't need a relationship. All I really care about is loads of mindless sex. Wait a second. Did you, uh, get me an aisle seat? Yes. I got you an aisle seat. Oh. oh all right. Well, well, thank you. I like the aisle. Could you send them in? Coach? This wasn't my idea. I know that, Lloyd. You're just the pawn here. Madam President, she's trying to get at me. This might amaze you, but not everything is about you. Shouldn't play into her hands like that, you know. I'm not. She doesn't want me here any more than you do. Duff made her bring me back. Well, then he is nuts, isn't he? Like you coached any better than me? I was sober. <laughs> then you should have done better. Colleen was right, I'm through. I should never have come back. Wait, wait, wait a second, wait a second. So you're, you're telling me that Colleen does not want you to coach? It's pretty clear. It's just the old man. All right, then you have to do it. So I can be a pawn in your hands instead of hers? No, thank you. No, I'm serious, okay? I mean it. You never mean anything. Lloyd, you do this for me, okay? And I'll do things for you. What can you do for me? Trouble, the media found us. It's all gonna come out. They know I didn't have a heart attack. Don't, don't you worry about that. They don't know anything, okay? I got a family, I got... I've been in this game 45 years. I don't want to go out a drunk. Lloyd, you're not a drunk, okay? You, you are just a man who happened to drink too much at a certain point in time. 12 years I was on the wagon. What, what am I going to tell my kids? Lloyd, I can protect you, okay? You do this for me, and I can protect you. Mr. Parker, you don't promise to Lloyd, listen. I, I need you here, all right? And I happen to think that you need me right now. So you do this for me tonight, and I'll protect you from them. All right. All right? All right. All right. Renata, you're going to come with me. Lloyd, you're just going to hang out here. You're going to relax. You're not going to worry. And you're going to lock the door behind us, OK? All right, all right, all right. Is Gorman in there? No, he's not. Is there an alcohol problem? Uh, no, there is no problem whatsoever. Uh, could you prove that? Yeah, even a dumb guy like me knows you can't prove a negative, all right? But, but here is the deal, OK? Mr. Gorman is a man who has spent 45 years in this game, OK? He's a man who's lived his life with honor and dignity, who's given everything that he has to Hamilton. The same man, he gets a little hell scare, and he tries to quietly return to work. And you guys, you guys end up treating him like some kind of criminal. Now, I, I think that is unfair, and I want that to stop, OK? OK. Oh, oh God. <sighs> so, Thornton from The Spectator, go ahead. No questions? No, I don't really think it's worth asking you anything. What, what does that mean? You were really, really ugly before when you, you tossed me that dollar. Oh, come on. What, did you try to throw you a US dollar? <laughs> Oh, come on. I was I was joking. You're you're press. You guys are tough. Oh, I'm tough. But you know what I just figured? Someone who would do that, they probably really aren't worth talking to. Thornton from the spectator, you you know I'm worth talking to. Oh. 
Do I? I guess you just have to prove it. Hi. Oh, you took the stairs. Hey, that was a good lie that you told about Gorman. Thanks. No, I mean, you did a good thing. Oh, now you tell anyone that, I'll have to kill you. No worries. So look, do you still want to find Mickey Dubois? Oh, you mean save everything I've worked my entire life for? No, that's okay. Thanks, Renata. Yes, do you know where Mickey Dubois is? Maybe. What, maybe? Why are you going to New York tonight? Where is Mickey Dubois? Answer me, and I'll tell you. Okay. All right, fine, fine. I I'm going to New York because I'm, uh, I'm going to open up a new agency there, all right? Because that is what... That's what I do. That is what my life is, all right? Mm -hmm. So your life isn't this? No, my life, my life is not this. I, and I told you, so you tell me now. Where is Mickey Dubois? Hamilton. Hamilton? What's he doing in Hamilton? He met my sister. A sister who looks like you? Much better. Terrifying thought, isn't it? Okay, well, this is good then. Can I, can I meet with him then? That depends. <laughs> that depends. On what? On whether you tell Mr. Mercado that you're going back to New York to open a new agency. Renata, I'm not going to negotiate with you here, okay? You do what I tell you to do. Or what? Or... Oh, God, I don't know. Hey, something. You tell Mr. Mercado the truth, and I will get you Mickey Dubois. Oh, come on. That's... See, that's blackmail. No. It's leverage. Leverage. Yeah. I learned that word from you. All me. right. Oh, and you have to go do your community service? Okay, right, as if. Come on, I, I, got, so, I got too much going on here. What about your daughter? Uh, well, she'll understand. Hey, how you doing? Well, according to this, 